Okay. All right, I'm officially recording this, guys. Okay. So in uh, this video, by the way, is going to be about tablature. I'm, I'm go uh, first, I'm going to go through the parts on the guitar, and I'm going to relate them to the guitar up, up here. Then I'm going to go down here and relate it down here. Okay. So now, check it out. By the way, this is a, a show read every weekday from, from, from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tonight I'm going a little bit later, and we're working on tablet now. You ask questions, and I answer them in real time. All right, so here, check it out. Here's the nut, okay, N-U-T, okay? Right here is your headstock. Right here is the, is the, uh, the fretboard. Or what, or what they call the, the neck, like the neck, the neck. And then right here, these metal pieces are your frets. So the way that it works is that there's six strings on the guitar. All right? So that's why in tab you see that there's six lines. Every line signifies for a string. And so right here is your headstock. Here's the nut, which is, was right here, like I said. So there's the headstock, here's the nut, and then here's the fretboard. Oops, sorry, over here, okay? So, in no way ever do I want you guys to get confused and to think for a second that this has anything to do with this. Because there's five lines in a staff, and there's six lines in tab. And these five lines have to do with pitch, and these six lines have to do with the strings on your guitar. Okay? So, I get that from a lot of beginner musicians, a lot of my students, whether they're five years old or 15 years old or 50 years old, they always think that when you see uh, stamp lines, that it has to do with tab and vice versa. No. No, not at all. So here, check this out. The, the, note, the strings on your guitar are E, A, D, G, B, E. All right? Now, the strings, let me turn this off. The, the, the notes on your stamp line, as, as everyone knows, are every good boy does fine. E G B D F. Okay? So in tab, you might see sometimes, not sometimes, I mean every time, you guys will probably see this. Things like, all right, Dave King, I'll let you go. You might see things like three or two, one, zero, zero. And so I get a lot of people that say, what's that mean? Well, the numbers. They mean which fret you're playing. So, what's a fret? Well, let's go back to this, guys. Let's take this guitar right here and look at this note right here. It says three. But now, see how this is A? There's six strings. So, when you see this three on this string, it's saying third fret on this string. So, let's take that. Third fret on the A string. Well, check it out, guys. Here's my A string right here. Okay, I'll zoom up for, for it. There's my A string, and here's my third fret. So when I want to play that note, it's actually quite simple. I just play it right here. Okay? If it said, if that said a 2, if this right here said a 2 instead of a 3, I would do this. Because now I'm on my second fret. Okay? If I were to go on a 1. So what I just did right here would be written down like this, Mark. If I want to play my first fret of my A string, and I want to write it out as tab, I would go to my A, and I would write a 1. And that's it. Boom. That easy. That easy. Now, if I were to write a 2 on top of my 1, it means I play it at the same time. Now, if I were to erase this and put my 2 to the right of the one, it means I, that, I play, that I play it separately. So, let me play this first, okay? Let me play this first. This is your chord. So let me put my first finger on the A and my second finger on the D. So you have this. Uh, it's a tritone. Okay? Now let me play it separately. Let me play it together. Let me play it separately. So, if I were to play it together, it would be written out like this. And if I were to play it separately, it would be written out like this. Okay? So, if I were to play this whole thing, it, it would just sound like this. I'm oh, sorry. Okay? 
one, two, one, zero, zero. So you're probably saying to yourself two questions. What does the zero mean? The zero, guys, means that you play your open string. So if I were to do this, like, like I just did, and I, I, and, I, and I were to play everything separately, the way I would write that out in tab would be like this. Let me erase this. I would go like this. And there you have it. This, every string is open. Every string is open. Okay? So let's take this further, guys, and go like this. By the way, are there any questions? Does that big pinch pitcher thing people put on their guitar just drop drop it down a key? Oh, the big uh, clasp, the big clasp. It uh, it actually moves it up a key. Yeah. But what it does is that instead of the notes on on the guitar being, um, okay, like okay, that's a great question, guys. If anyone's ever seen it. Uh, you might see sometimes a uh, a guitar player might have like, like like a big clasp right here or here or here on their guitar, and that so 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 that they have both their their fingers open. It's like a clasp that you just fit that you just sit right there, and then you just continue playing. What that is is that's called a capo, C A P O capo. And the way that it works is that the strings, the open strings on the guitar, are E A D G B E, E A D G B E. Okay. And the way that the capo works is that when I put that that capo here or here, all the notes, what is it called? It's called a capo, C A P O. And what it does is that instead of um, of the of the open strings now being E A D G B E, the open strings have all moved up a half step. So the open strings with a capo would be sorry would be F A sharp D sharp G sharp C and F. So all the open strings change. So this chord, if I were to play it on a capo would sound completely different because now I'm playing these strings, which are sound like this. I can't. I can't play it. It's too difficult. But at least you got the idea. Crazy Mark, I'll let you go. Thanks so much for tuning in, bro. By the way, this is a, a recorded video. It's in my archives, and it's all about tabs. FAQ tabs. You ask, I answer. All right? So let me continue with this and answer a few more questions about tabs before I end the show. Let me go down here, keep the strings, by the way, capos are awesome, awesome, you get some really, really cool sounding chords out of capos, absolute pirate, what's going on bro, that was my next question, tuning down a half step would just be from say A to A sharp, no, 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 tuning up a half step would be from tuning from A to A sharp. If you're tuning down a half step, down is flat, up is sharp. And the way that I always remember it is because when you flatten something, it goes down. If I were to take this eraser right now, like this, and flatten it, boom, it would, it, it would go down. Lag? I'm not lagging. Uh, will you ever be an op? I don't... <laughs> There's like 20 people who want to be who want to be off. I'll definitely be in touch with you, Dave. All right. So here, you got um. The next great question is the, the one that that I was getting up to. Dig up her bone goes. Well, what the heck does an X mean? And I'm going. Yo, dig. You want to know what that is? Your boy wants to show you. Your boy wants to show you. You ready? Watch this. When you have a one. Let's put two, X, X, three, zero. Okay, here's a little ditty 